and today I am here to give my wrap up thoughts slash review on the entirety of season 3 of Scum France now that it is over and we're moving on to season 4. So going into season 3 I had pretty high expectations I will say for what was going to happen with Lucas this season. It had been uh, about like what six months since we had seen Scum France and any of the characters and I really do like Scum France as a remake. I liked the first two seasons I just think they're very similar to the OG and I always say like if you want just like a more polished version of the OG, like Scom France is the remake for you. So I was tepidly optimistic. I was not a huge fan of Lucas. Like it's not that I did not like him, but I wasn't in love with him like some of the other Isaac iterations that we have. Other than that, I was just really excited to see another Isaac season, but I was a little, you know, little eh after Martino season because it's just Martino season was really good. So I wanted to be like, oh, what if this one sucks now, you know? So I will say, they got me right from the start with releasing the trailer for the season as Elliot's first day back to school. Like I thought that was so phenomenally well done and there were just a lot of little changes like that that they made that I thought really helped make the season their own. One of the things that I really like they did for example like not only showing Elliot's point of view in that first trailer but we also got to have an Elliot or an Evan I guess an Evan who had an Instagram so Elliot had an Instagram which I think was really really cool because one it was like a little Easter egg hunt for the fans to try and find his Instagram and piece it together bit by bit and then once everyone did find it and it was open you got to see kind of inside his head so it was a nice little look into Elliot's point of view kind of because we could you know extrapolate what picture went with what date of what we were seeing from Lucas's point of view and it just added some really some really sweetness to it because I think it really leaned on the fact that Elliot's an artist and that's how artists view the world and view their feelings sometimes is through that medium so I like that it added that and if you're gonna have an Evan who has a social media since it's like a big chunk of the storyline in the OG that like he had to delete his social media and like he's not on it anymore and everything I think this was a great way to do it but I will say the only thing is that going into it after watching like the teaser trailer with Elliot being at school and bumping into Lucas for the first time which was so cute because we've always heard about that moment not necessarily that he bumped into him but like we've never seen it so to see it was really really awesome I remember specifically like the first episode I was like I think this is gonna be the first remake and even first like original where I like the Evan character better than I like the Isaac character. Isaac has always been my favorite and like Martina's my favorite and all of them are my favorite, you know what I mean? Not that I don't love them both, I do love them both, but there's just something about that grumpy little boy that I'm like, you my man. So I was like going into it being like, you know what, like I'm okay if like I like Lucas and then I like love Ellie. But as the episodes went on, I was absolutely blown away by Lucas and by Axel's performance as Lucas. I think he honestly just brought it all and I think there were a lot of doubts surrounding his performance, his acting performance on Tumblr and stuff because we didn't see a lot in the first two seasons and you know sometimes what we did see it wasn't like a huge range of stuff that you know he really had to do and there's a lot that Lucas has to do. He has to cry his eyeballs out like there's a lot that he has to do so there's a lot that Axel had to bring and he really really stepped up to the plate and I'm in awe of like all the emotion and all the feelings and all the passion that he was able to bring to this character. You can truly tell with him and I don't know how you pronounce Max's name. Is it Maxine? Maxine? I don't know. I don't know guys. But you can truly tell that both of them love their characters so much and that these characters mean so much to them and that they both have such like a good friendship and a good foundation for the chemistry to build off of that and I think it really really shows which is awesome because those are two characters that are very emotionally and physically intimately involved so you really need that core or else it doesn't feel like it but then at the same time I feel you also have to root for both of them for it to work you know like when they're together and when they're apart you still have to care about Lucas and his journey and there's a point where you have to care about him even if he doesn't end up with Ellie you have to care about more than the relationship and just these two people by themselves and I think they really brought it with that and I feel like a lot of the additions like I said were so fantastic like the whole thing of Elliot having this special place on the bridge that he took Lucas to and no one else and the metaphor of light and darkness oh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention one of my favorite parts of the season that they added in which is Lucas's relationship with the girl squad I think his relationship with the girl squad in general was just so cute and so sweet like when he was hanging out with them at the common room when they went and got the couch and the mattress and all that stuff and just like the way he was so open and so like they were literally like it's just Lucas he's one of the girls like it was so cute and then off of that his relationship with Manon 
was something I didn't even know I wanted and yet now you can't even pry it from my hands. It is so so sweet. Like that scene of both of them together at like 3 in the morning just crying and comforting each other absolutely broke my heart and repaired it at the same time. Like it's just so sad to watch them but it's so nice to see them be there for each other and see that like they're both people that you know they found their families outside of blood you know like they don't always get along great with their family so it's nice to see them you know I, I honestly think they could be siblings in another life you know and with Emma too I really like the scene where they added Emma in I think it was episode 9 it was Emma, Manon, and Lucas all talking and just getting their problems out together and just being there for each other and I think it was really really sweet that's one of the things that I do if you're not going to go along the route like I said of keeping it in all the same point of view from one person like the OG does then at least I'm glad that they checked in on like Manon and Emma and showed their friendship and we got to see more of like just what she was dealing with at the same time that Lucas was dealing with and then be there for each other and comfort each other and then also adding Emma in and her just being a really good friend to Manon and also to Lucas and I think it was really really sweet and just really cute and definitely something I didn't expect to come out of the season but was really really happy that it did. I could go on and on about both of their acting skills like Axel just constantly brought it whenever he had to like fall apart and scream and cry like I think what really cemented it for me was the episode episode 5 after he saw Elliot kissing Lucille when he just came apart like he was punching things he was screaming silently like there was just rage in his eyes and for him to be able to capture all that was so so amazing so I was super super impressed with both of them and then Max Max can't say your name I'm sorry Max but uh he was really great with Elliot I feel like in the quieter moments too like in the last episode when he was trying to say that like he doesn't think him and Lucas should be together because he's gonna hurt him he's gonna be selfish he's gonna be not so nice sometimes and like he doesn't want that for Lucas like I just feel like you could see him physically retreating like he hunched himself lower he put himself on Lucas's eye level because he didn't want to hurt him and he was so scared of losing him but at the same time like Lucas not getting hurt was more important to him than being with him but then Lucas was like you know like I'd rather be annoyed by you than not be with you so that was really cute and I think a big thing that I'm impressed with this season is that they weren't afraid to show the ugly side of mental illness it wasn't like now that Lucas was okay with Elliot and everything Elliot was just magically gonna get better he was like I'm gonna have bad days I'm gonna be snippy and I'm gonna blame you for stuff that's not your fault I'm not gonna want to take my medicine when I'm feeling good you're gonna get mad at me like it's not an if it's a when this stuff is gonna happen and we're gonna have to learn to deal with it and I think that was really nice because they showed that part but then also the part of Basil where he was like you have to meet people where they are you just have to wait and they're just because people are mentally ill it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them that like they're toddlers that like we have to wrap them up and take care of them like it doesn't mean that at all you have to wait for people to surface and they'll tell you what they need and we saw that with Elliot yeah he snapped at Lucas but then he apologized for it and that's what happens when you surface Lucas was just there for Elliot and even when Elliot was super depressed and not wanting to talk or do anything he still wanted Lucas he wanted to snuggle with him and cuddle with him and that was just that like Basil said you have to meet people where they are so one big thing too for this season that I was iffy about was Basil and Daphne's relationship just because Basil the way he talked about women was Egh. so I was just like Daphne you deserve so so much better but I was also really impressed again with the writing crew that they were able to take that of kind of Basil being in you know not the best place and then move it so he realized like this is he needs to be a better person like when he was like I want to be a better guy for you to be the guy you deserve that's when he won me over because I was like okay he's realizing his flaws he's not just dismissing them or being like oh you know I was like that but like whatever like it's fine like I'm better for you or whatever it was like he he owned up to his shit that he was doing that was not good and said that he was going to take steps to do better and then we actually saw him implement those steps when he turned down that girl who asked him if she wanted to hook up because he liked Daphne and he knew that there still wasn't a huge chance with Daphne in his mind but he still said no because he didn't want to blow his chance in trying to prove to her that he's better or he's getting better so I really like that because I think that was something that from the beginning I was like oh no I'm not gonna like Basil and Daphne together and then by the end I was really pleasantly happy that they got together let's say that I wasn't exactly like yeah but I was like I'm okay with it I like it I think they can make each other better so I really really like that and overall this season was just so amazing like what an amazing journey it went by way too fast I can't believe this started what in like January February like 
and it's already over. I'm gonna miss seeing them so much. Like, obviously we'll see them in season four, but Lucas and Ellie are gonna take more of a backseat now. We won't have, like, their point of view all the time and everything like that. So I'm really hoping we do get an Elliot season, because I think I trust the writers to really handle the mental illness aspect of it very, very well, and I think it's important to see that even if you're in a help, a healthy, I have tried to combine those words, a healthy and happy relationship, it doesn't just make your mental illness go away. So I think it would be nice to see them navigating that and seeing the ups and downs of it, you know, and seeing that love prevails. So I was just super, super impressed with the season. It's definitely, I think it's tied, it might even be a little bit higher for my favorite season ever of a remake. It's between that and season two of the German version with Mia. I really, really love this, guys. I think it was absolutely beautiful aesthetically. The acting was so great. Like, Oh, there's just so much I could go on and on about it. So if you've seen this season, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also make sure you give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave your favorite parts of season three. What really surprised you? What impressed you? What made you sob like a baby? Oh, I forgot to talk about Lucille. How could I forget about that? She's a bitch. <laughs> and I like that. I feel like they didn't fully redeem her, which I liked because, you know, I think at the end of the day, what her conversation with Lucas just proved to me was that she wasn't right for Elliot and that's not a bad thing on her you know like she just I feel like couldn't get the idea of like you don't have to like baby him and do everything for him the difference between her and Basil of her being like you have responsibilities now blah blah, blah you have to do this this and this which yes that's true that you know you can't just dick around all the time but like Basil said like it's not this big I feel like Lucille just tried to stress of how different it was and like went through a list and Basil was like bro, like, he's a person, like, he knows what he feels and he knows how to ask for it, so, like, he's gonna be fine. So I did like that because I feel like Lucia was just a bit more bitchy than Sonia or even, what's the, Madalena? What's the girl from Sonia Italia? So I like that there wasn't, like, a full redemption for her, it just kind of showed that she wasn't the right fit for Elliot, and again, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just Lucas is better fitted for Elliot and that's just the way it is sometimes. So yeah, leave your favorite parts about the season below in the comments. Your Elliot, Axel, Lucas, however you say Max's name, all that wonderful stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!